Hi, in this video I will show you how to explore syntactic dependencies using the SPACI natural language processing library. SPACI allows accessing information about syntactic dependencies through the token object. To get started, let's define an example sentence with two clauses. I never saw the bird because it had flown away. We assign this example into a string object that we then feed to the language model stored under the variable NLP, which we created in the previous video. We then store the resulting doc object under the variable tree, which we then feed to the render function from the displaces submodule to visualize the syntactic dependencies. As you can see, the head verb saw has a dependent, the verb flown, which are connected by the relation for adverbial clause modifier. If we want to retrieve everything that modifies the main clause, I never saw the bird, we can use the subtree attribute of a token object. To do so, let's loop over the doc object stored under the variable tree and examine the attribute DEP underscore, which stands for the dependency tag. If the token has a tag that corresponds to the adverbial clause modifier, we print out the token, its index and the contents of the subtree attribute. The subtree attribute contains a Python generator object, which is why we use the list function to cast the contents of the generator into a list. If we examine the output, we can see that the token flown at index 9 has the relation for adverbial clause modifier, and the subtree of this token contains the token itself and all of its children in the clause that modifies the main clause. In other words, the subtree attribute returns the token and all of its dependents. If we only want to get the dependents of some token, we can use the children attribute. Just like subtree, the children attribute returns a generator, so we need to cast the generator into a list in order to examine its contents, which we then print out in this cell. As you can see, the verb flown at index 9 of the doc object is excluded from the list. We can also use the attributes lefts and rights to access the immediate dependence of a token on its either side. These attributes also return generators, so we need to cast the output into a list to examine the dependence. As you can see, we have three tokens on the left hand side of the token and one token on the right hand side. We can also move up the parse tree or follow the syntactic dependencies towards the root by using the head and ancestors attributes. Let's continue by examining the token at index 8 of the doc object tree, which corresponds to the auxiliary had. To retrieve the head of this auxiliary verb, we can use the head attribute, which returns the verb flown. This, however, only gives us the immediate head. If we want to retrieve the head and all of their heads, we can use the ancestors attribute, which returns a generator object. This is once again why we cast the output into a list, which returns a list with two items, flown and saw. I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions about syntactic dependencies in Spacey, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.